Today on CityCast Pittsburgh. If you've got a library card, you can obviously use it to check out books. But did you know it gets you access to way more than your favorite paperback? I'm talking fishing rods, popcorn makers, even a weed whacker. For our 500th episode, we're revisiting a conversation I had with executive producer Mallory Falk, where we round up some of the coolest, most unexpected things you can do with your library card. It's Wednesday, March 13th. I'm Francesca DeBecco, and here's what Pittsburgh's talking about. So, Francesca, I gave us a little assignment. We each had to find the three coolest things you can get with a library card. Yeah, and narrowing this down was kind of hard. Um, before I started researching, I had no idea you could get so much stuff with a library card. It's so exciting. <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously, I knew you could get books. I knew you could get music. Like, I'm going to date myself a little bit here. But back in high school, I'd sometimes check out CDs from the library. But it turns <laughs> out there is a lot more you can get. Yeah, I really hope we can convince some more folks to support their local libraries by, you know, sharing these hacks. Yeah. And and before we get into the hacks, uh, I just want to say, you know, we are super lucky here in Allegheny County because we are like rich in libraries. That's true. Um, but they're all part of this like one consortium and they share a catalog. And so that means we've got access to so many different treasures from all across the county. Yeah. And you can have all of that with some super cool local art in your pocket, too. There are library cards with designs by local artists. Um, One has a phrase, free to the people on it, which is carved in stone above the entrance at the main Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh. So I think that's kind of cool. All right, let's dive in. Francesco, what was the most surprising thing you learned that you can check out with a library card? So this is such a great concept, but... I was surprised to learn that you can borrow home tools. Shout out to the Millvale Community Library. Their tool library has a collection of over 900 hand and power tools for building, home maintenance, gardening, plumbing, cars even, bikes. I am definitely going to head there. I was looking through their catalog and uh, I definitely want to pick up this detail standard that they have. Um, A few weeks ago, I was at an estate sale and picked up this old timey radio. It looks very vintage, but I was told it was not. It actually has like a tape deck on the side. But that made me feel a little better about trying to paint it a new color. Like since it's not really an antique, I kind of want to paint it a fun color. That's so Um, cool. But, you know, it's there's these really small areas I'm going to have to sand down um, to be able to repaint. And so this little detail sander they've got at the tool library there um, is going to be perfect. So I will maybe be the first in line uh, to check out a new tool. That's awesome. I love this because homeowning is a lot. <laughs> Mallory, you can agree. <laughs> uh-huh. um, and sometimes you don't have the space or or the money to get every tool you could possibly need. Um, so sometimes you also just have like one special project that you won't need that tool ever again. Check out your local library. They might have a similar thing or head out to Millville. They got it all. <laughs> So the thing I was shocked to learn that you can borrow is tons of cooking and baking tools. Oh. Once you're done with your home repair project, if yeah. you want to you know, move on into the kitchen. If you go to the Allegheny County Library's catalog, there's this section called Library of Things. And cool. it has a category called Cooking and Baking. So you can just scroll through that and find like everything. There's waffle makers, ice cream makers, dinosaur-shaped cookie cutters, seashell-shaped chocolate molds. There are all kinds of chocolate molds in there. Um, And there's also holiday-themed cookie cutters, like for Valentine's Day or Halloween, which to me makes a lot of sense because, like, why would you spend money on cookie cutters you'll only use once a year? You could just check them out from the library. Yeah. But my absolute favorite find here was the cake pan collection at Whitehall Public Library Okay, because it is extensive. Um, Francesca, I'm sending you a link. I want you to open this and uh, check out their inventory. Oh, my goodness. There are so many. I had no idea there were even... Oh, my goodness. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> Wait, I got to read some of these. Um, so we have, you know, your classic butterfly castle, a train, a Christmas tree. Wow. Um, a fire truck, a horseshoe. There's Dora. There's Elmo. There's Scooby-Doo. I had no idea that cake pans came in this many shapes and varieties this is where you need to go to make your next birthday cake for whatever you know kid adult in your life there is literally something for everyone on here i love this hey pittsburgh Behind those stately red doors on Bingham Street, the brilliant minds at Pittsburgh's City Theater have a brand new stage show for you. It's a modern revamp of the Shakespearean classic Hamlet. Fat Ham follows a young queer black man named Juicy, whose father visits from beyond the grave to demand Juicy avenge his murder. Check it out through March 24th and get your tickets at citytheatercompany.org. Use code CITYCAST, all one word, for $5 off. Francesca, what's your second pick for best library treasure? Okay, so this one is actually a service. It's called The Recollection Studio. It's a DIY digitization lab where you can find hardware, software, and documentation to digitize VHS tapes or audio cassette tapes, documents, photographs, slides, negatives, all of those things to like preserve your your family history, your memories. Mm. You know, it's really a part of the library's mission to preserve like community voices and history. I really wish I would have known about this before I tediously converted <laughs> all of my family's home videos. <laughs> We digitized these incredible videos of my grandma um, in her younger years in these like amazing Aww. 50s fashion, like <gasps> sauntering, like walking in this like sultry pose toward wow. the camera, That's <laughs> which was beautiful. a side of her I had not seen until my uncle got these digitized and showed them to us. But I think Keep he had those to forever. pay some money for that. It would have been nice to know that there was this free resource yeah. available to him to capture um the, the foxy lady that my family Yeah, wants. that's beautiful. So I also went the service route for this pick and the family history route, I guess. Uh, okay. The main branch of the Carnegie Library in Oakland, which is just like the most beautiful building. Yeah. Um, it has a local history and genealogy section. And so you can book an appointment there to research your own family tree or just dig into the oh. history of Pittsburgh, the history of Allegheny County. Um, they have so much, like these old newspaper clippings that go back to the early 1900s. There's a microfilm collection that has census records and city directories, which I learned were like the old school phone books. Cool. Though I guess phone books themselves are old school now. So these yeah, are like right. the old, old school way you could look people <laughs> up. There's also like books that can teach you how to do some of this, you know, genealogy yourself, like how to do cemetery research, which okay. sounds cool. Yeah. Um, and then there's this collection of more than 100,000 negatives and prints um, so that, as they put it, you can get this like incredible visual history of our city. That's so cool. I would love to look into my family. I mean, we've been here for a couple generations. We're pretty Pittsburgh. Um, but, you know, they were immigrants from Italy and it, it would be really fun to, to, dig, to dig into that. Yeah. I mean, and if you want to do that, you know, if you make an appointment, there's staff on hand there that can help you with kind of the basics of going through all this material. That's but helpful. But you can also book a, like a one-on-one -on -one session with a librarian if you have sort of more in-depth research questions that you need help with. That's so special. Yeah. Uh, Francesca, what is your third pick? So this one is kind of more than one, but I was delighted by how many hobbies you can fund with a library card. For starters, the Instrument Lending Library. Mm -hmm. They have synthesizers, beat makers, effect pedals, ukuleles, other recording equipment. If you're into making music, I think this is a great way to experiment and learn a new thing without committing to the purchase. <laughs> 
listening to that list, I noticed that none of these instruments are things you put your mouth on, like True. no flutes, no clarinets. And I wonder if that was always the case or if that's a post-COVID thing. Like, I'm curious sort of what their uh, sanitization process is for yeah. instruments. But it seems like, you know, you're you're in safe territory with the ukulele or yeah. an effect pedal. That's a good point. Yeah, I think, I think everyone's safe there. Um, and then for folks who like sports and outdoors... There's a ton of equipment you can borrow. Pickleball, tennis racket set, bocce ball, cornhole, a fishing rod kit. You could literally try out a new hobby every week until you find something that you want to stick with. I saw there's even a laser tag kit, which I didn't realize you could just bring laser tag know, home with you. No idea. They really have everything. <laughs> yeah. So I'm also going to stick with hobbies here. And like you, I kind of picked more than one. Um there is just this huge array of things you can check out. I saw you can borrow a pottery wheel, which is what? really wild to me. What? But I'm sticking How? With... It's large. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I better tell my partner. He'd love that. <laughs> yeah. I do wonder with some of this how you actually get it from the library to your home. Um, but... <laughs> um, but if you want something online that's a little easier to access, something really cool that your card gets you is um, access to this site called Creative Bug that has all these online craft tutorials. Um, so you can learn quilting, embroidery, different kinds of book binding, how to sew a shirt. Wow. All these things I've always thought would be cool to learn, but I wasn't really sure where to start. Yeah, and it can kind of be intimidating to start some of these things. So I ha I think having these tools, um, you know, for anyone, variety of ages and skill levels, I think that's really cool. Yeah. And then I don't want to leave out the youngins. And it turns out you can also borrow puppets from the what? library and American Girl dolls. <gasps> no way. Yeah. Oh my Which, gosh. Which uh, really would have come in handy back in the day when I really wanted Kirsten and my parents said that was too much money <laughs> to spend on a doll. Listen, those were expensive. They I were. I had Samantha, uh, loved her. I wonder if she's in the library. Actually, wonder if I can donate my old dolls to the to the library lending. Would love for them to still continue to get some love today. That's a great question. I mean, I feel like a lot of American Girl dolls met the fate of getting uh, makeovers, haircuts, <laughs> permanent makeup tattooed yeah. on their faces. So, um, but uh, these ones must be in better shape if they're able to kind of make the rounds again and again. So Very I, don't know. Cool. I just thought that was really cool that that's something you can borrow. Awesome. So before we go, I also just want to shout out the Rad Pass. If you've yes. got a library card and you're over 18, you can use it to get free or discounted tickets to a bunch of cultural attractions, um, like all the Carnegie Museums, the Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra, Pirates Games. I totally forgot about the Rad Pass, oh. and I just took some out-of-town visitors to the Warhol Museum. Oh, no. And I am kicking myself for not taking advantage. Yeah. But um, Don't be like you know, This episode is a good <laughs> reminder. Yeah, don't be like me. <laughs> <laughs> get your free or discounted tickets. Uh, get your library card if you don't have one already, because it will open up a whole world of weed whackers and expensive dolls and cake pans <laughs> to you. <laughs> That's all for today here on CityCast Pittsburgh. It was so fun to hear Mallory's voice again. For longtime listeners, you may realize she's been gone for a little while, but we're so excited to announce that she's going to return from maternity leave soon. So we can't wait to have her back. Also, did we mention your favorite library hack? If not, let us know because we're working on a follow-up to this episode to showcase even more cool things you can do with your library card. You can reach us via email, that's pittsburgh at citycast.fm, via social at citycastpgh, or you can text us or leave a voicemail. That number is 412-212-8893. We'll be back tomorrow morning with more news from around the city. See you then. Miniature Railroad Fidget.